वेलकम चिल्ड्रेन टुडे इन ई वी एस वन वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अ न्यू लेसन द नेम ऑफ द लेसन इज मैनेजमेंट ऑफ कम्युनिटी लाइफ श्रद्धा आयशा एंड इमलिस पेरेंट्स डिसाइडेड टू टेक अ ट्रिप इन द समर वेकेशन दे बुक द स्पेशल मिनी बस फॉर द ट्रिप इन द मॉर्निंग एवरी वन गॉट रेडी दे वेटेड फॉर द बस फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम बट इट डिट नॉट अराइव when they made inquiries on the phone they realized that the driver of the bus did not know where exactly they were all waiting finally the bus arrived and they set off on their trip to do any kind of work smoothly some management is required what is management the first step in management is to prepare an outline of how and when the work is to be done if we are going to be working in a group the outline must be clear clearer and more detailed one has to decide what task each person will carry out each person must know clearly how to carry it out proper coordination has to be maintained among the people involved we also need to make sure that each person is doing his or her work properly and estimate of the amount of money needed for the work needs to be done in advance if all these things are done properly the work gets completed smoothly even if one person makes a mistake or slacks off in the job the work does not get completed properly can you tell what tasks are necessary for the management of your classroom how will you choose your representatives to carry out those tasks has the classroom been cleaned properly is the chalk and the duster in the classroom is the board clean checking these things regularly writing good thoughts on the board and maintaining discipline in the classroom is the responsibility of class representatives similarly to make sure that the school is run smoothly a school management committee is formed the school management committee consists of parents teachers local experts and student representatives the committee tries to understand the difficulties of parents students and teachers it gives guidance so as to solve these difficulties it prepares and recommends a school development plan it keeps an eye on the regular attendance of students and teachers in the school it helps in carrying out schemes such as the midday meal in this way teachers and parents work together through the school management committee to ensure the all round development of the students why do accidents occur on the streets why must we follow traffic rules why does school always begin at a fixed time why is the timetable of all the subjects made why do vehicles only run on the left hand side of the road you must have wondered about these things before if there is no fixed time for school to start what will happen students would come to school and go home whenever they wished we would not know when to study if there were no timetable students would bring the textbooks and notebooks of all different subjects to school rules guide us about how to behave in society because of rules we can be sure that everyone will behave in a particular manner for example because for example because we know that everyone will drive their car on the left hand side we can also drive our car in the same way safely if we did not know whether the vehicle coming towards us would come from the left or right we would also get confused rules are made so that the community life can go on in a smooth and orderly manner earlier customs and traditions formed the basis of rules now it is the government that makes the rules after independence a constitution was framed for our country the constitution provides the fundamental framework for governing the country it lays down the principles on which a society is organized and developed the elected representatives run the country according to the constitution the local administration is run by the local government bodies in this picture what can you see women drawing water at a well a park here you can see street lights a van, van collecting garbage in a city we are dependent on many people for things needed in our daily life we need water for drinking washing for agriculture and also for animals it is necessary to clear the garbage in our neighborhood every day we need roads street lights school hospitals public parks and gardens fulfilling these needs is the responsibility of the local government body 
people elect their representatives to the local government body to attend to these needs what we have learned management is necessary for any work to be done properly a detailed plan is necessary for group work if work is carried out according to the plan it is done smoothly and on time the school management committee works to ensure that works to ensure the all round development of children the local government body provides facilities for the daily needs of people thank you